to my channel if you're new here you are so welcome today i'll be speaking about what i bought from ikea this is my ikea haul temporarily i am staying in a sublet now this is how we're doing it in toronto for now i'm going to fill you in in the next video speaking about apartments finding a condo what it's like moving to toronto the videos are coming soon but today i'm showing you what i got so as you can see there's nothing in the room whatsoever like i've moved into an empty apartment so i'm showing you the bedding what i got for the bathroom just making myself at home and yeah just pulling in my little touches okay so i have two bags two bags of the good stuff what should i start off with okay. i'm gonna go and start off with this one i'm telling you i went to the ikea on college street i'm still getting used to the names but this was the nearest one i wasn't really gonna go all the way to north york because that's way too far but this ikea it was okay it was small but it had everything that you needed like the essential stuff and i needed the essential stuff right so i'm going to start off with this bag so first up i've got the three storage um boxes that's going to go under the bed now this one is the i don't know is it called scoob or something like that i don't i don't know scoob this thing um but yeah this is going to go under the bed i need to actually show you the size so bear with me i did see a preview of it before i opened opened it before i bought it um it was on display so i chose white just keep keeping the piece i didn't want to choose any color although there were other colors available i saw gray i saw pink but i chose white so this is the size i don't know if you can see but it's pretty big um i'm gonna put my like jeans my tops my nightwear things like that okay so second up i've got the duvet Smaz it's called smazpaw um i think i i think i pronounced that properly but oh well it is what it is i tried so it's for a double and it's a whole duvet um of course big enough for two people as you know but yeah i'm not going to open this until i'm ready to prepare um my bed properly but i'm just showing you and the top for this i don't know what the top is i just felt it it felt really really nice um but it doesn't say the top doesn't say um anyway we'll skip that but the duvet is warm like living in london um especially when it's hot even when it's hot we still want to keep warm it's so weird like i think it's a feeling of the duvet right i don't normally switch out a duvet even when in the summer i just stick to the same one so that's a thermometer um showing you how hot this does get but you know our bodies regulate itself and we just roll with the punches right i need to remember i'm in toronto i'm not in london anymore next up i got a pair of slippers now hear me out these were $2.99 and I had to just get something because I was wearing my flip-flops I haven't had the chance to really kind of dive into the stores here like Marshalls, Winners, um, like Canadian Tire for other home decor and things that you need I just needed something very very quick I saw these it reminded me of like hotel slippers just a tad bit or spa slippers you know but these look so comfy they feel comfy for what they're worth and what they look like it's not bad for ikea like this is definitely an essential absolutely and i can't wait to wear them i got these in an extra large this is what the extra large looks like okay so i'm on to the um i'm on to the second bag pink everything pink everything pink i'm actually loving it so for the bathroom i've got a pink bath mat um and this was nine dollars 99 so it wasn't bad and it's really really soft as well i got a um, pink towel i have to keep up with the matching sets i got a pink hand towel basically i got the whole set right um i'll be uploading the um the prices and everything in the video as we go along and i had to get a full mattress protector too this is waterproof i think i paid maybe um i 
think I paid $19.99 for this. I think I did, the most cost effective one because I'm not gonna be making any accidents anytime soon, like, or at all, should I say. <laughs> I'm not gonna be making any accidents, but you have to have a mattress protector because you don't know anything. You have to have that. And with this, I just got standard pillows. I got like a firm pillow. I don't do well with the goose feathers. I don't feel it supports my neck properly. You just end up sinking. So that's not always good. So you have to figure out what type of pillow you actually like and what is for you. I actually was introduced to different type of pillows when I went to the Ideal Home Exhibition in London. And, you know, testing it out, laying on a bed, testing it out, and I wasn't liking the firm, hard pillows. Even the um, ones that are actually good for you, I just, I, no, it's not for me. Let me just have my standard pillows. It's okay. I can deal with that. Uh, I've got these beautiful pink duvet set. I'm loving the stripes and it's reversible as well, which is so cool. So I can switch up. And also another essential. This is a full set. So two pillowcases, an undersheet, um, and a fitted sheet as well. Yeah, so you've got the fitted sheet, you've got the undersheet, the one that goes over the fitted sheet, right? And the pillowcases. See, this is where Ikea make their money. Normally in the UK, you would have a full set. I'm talking about the two pillowcases, the duvet cover, the undersheet, and the fitted sheet. You have it all together, but Ikea sell it separately. That's how they make their money, okay? So I had to do that. Um, all together, I paid $309. If I'm not correct, the right price will be on the screen and I will alter the price. And that is my essential. I feel I did a good job. I needed a one-stop shop and Ikea is a place. I didn't have the energy to be shop shopping around. However, I did ask, you know, a few customers. I did ask a few Ikea employees, you know, is HomeSense a bit better? Is Winners better? And they said, because of inflation, things have gone up and you might as well just spend it in Ikea, the one-stop shop. Yes, some things may be less expensive, but it all adds up in the end anyway, and the money will have to be spent. So I thought to myself, hmm, I haven't got energy to be shopping around. I need to get these things quick and fast because I need to go to sleep today. And if I want to spend my money, I'm spending it in a place that is worthy, which is Ikea. It's great quality. Um, it's known to be affordable and I know I'm going to get everything. So that is it for my essential video. Like I said, London to Toronto. I moved here last month. The date is June the 23rd, 2023. So it's been a little over the month, over a month now. And I arrived here on May the 12th, right? So I am still settling in and finding my way. Like I said, this is a sublet apartment. So I'm here for a while until I'm on the hunt to get my apartment and condo or condo. So I'll let you know the differences between an apartment and a condo as well. Um, so yeah, that is it guys. I'm so glad to be back sharing with you my journey. I'm gonna let you know everything, why I moved to Toronto and I feel at peace. I feel at peace and I feel I've met my soul here. So thank you so much for watching my IKEA Essentials video and the first video from moving from London to Toronto. Guys, have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening please do keep supporting me thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys very soon take care bye